Hi and welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is Vince. Thanks for stopping by. You're very welcome here indeed. So before I started to take NMN as a daily supplement, we're talking five years ago now, I did a lot of research and there were some key questions and some concerns that kept coming up. Things I knew I had to ponder and ultimately make a decision on one way or the other. And I think there's probably a new band of people who've started to follow me on this channel because I keep seeing similar questions coming up in the comment section. So today I'm going to cover those key areas. And if you're considering taking NMN, I hope that they help. So let's quickly look at what NMN actually is. And if you've been around for a while and you know what NMN is, please feel free to skip ahead in the video if you haven't already done so. NMN as a daily supplement has one function and one function only, and that's to raise depleted NAD levels in our cells. NAD or nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide, to give it its full name, is found in virtually all of our living cells and is essential for sustaining life. Unfortunately, NAD levels decline drastically as we age, creating an energy deficit that decreases our body's ability to retain youthful functions. And unfortunately, NAD is biologically unstable, so it makes it unsuitable for oral supplementation. Now, you can take NAD intravenously if you can find a clinic that will do it for you. Or you can use an NAD precursor, commonly called an NAD booster, like NMN or NR, nicotinamide riboside. These precursors convert to NAD after they've entered into the cell. There have been a number of human efficacy trials as well as human safety trials using NMN. And I will link in the description below a video that gives a summary of all of these scientific studies. Although NMN is commercially available, there is still no official recommended daily allowance. However, there are numerous protocols on the back of bottles relating to how much you should take and how many times a day you should take it. Bear in mind that all these companies are still guessing. No protocols have been established officially, i.e. before food, with food, after food, on an empty stomach, in the morning, or just before bed, etc. Davis and Clay has explained he takes one gram a day in the morning that he mixes into yogurt. I now take 1.5 grams a day between 6 a.m. and 7 a.m. in the morning, along with 1.5 grams of TMG, trimethylglycine. Now, although there is no official dosage recommendations, Rhonda Patrick did state this on a Joe Rogan podcast. So there's been all these studies over the past, I don't know, I'd say like six years probably now, five or six years, where various scientists are have been um, feeding mice, you know, this nicotinamide riboside or nicotinamide mononucleotide. And they're finding that, you know, for example, if you feed them nicotinamide mononucleotide, um, it delays aging in their liver, in their bones, in their um, eyes, their muscle, um, they're, so it's basically like their tissues are aging better. They, they have enhanced endurance. They have uh, better mitochondrial function. And these are doses like human equivalent dose to like 24 milligrams per kilogram body weight per day, which could be a lot if you weigh a lot. But Now, if I follow that formula, I would need to take two grams, 280 milligrams a day, which I may well do in the future. But at the moment, I'm seeing and feeling great results with just 1.5 grams of NMN per day. The next thing to consider is purity. There are many, many companies now that will sell you NMN, and this number does grow by the month. You can, of course, choose any company that you wish, but it would be better for you to look for a company that has a certain amount of history in the supplement space, and also look for a company that not only conducts third-party testing, but also posts its results on their website. Another thing you may wish to consider is how you will take your NMN. Now, there are two main methods of administration, oral and sublingual. Oral administration is a route of administration whereby a substance is taken through the mouth and swallowed, and this can be in tablet form or even mixed into a liquid. Sublingual administration is where a tablet or powder is placed under the tongue, and then that's allowed to dissolve slowly. Sublingual administration may well be superior for certain compounds, but at present, there are no human clinical studies showing that sublingual is superior to oral, or indeed oral, superior to sublingual. There are conflicting views on the best form of application. So with no clear official direction, you will need to choose what method of administration you think is best for you. When asked about administration some time ago, David Sinclair said, when it comes to NAD precursors, we're all still guessing. And I think that holds true as of today. 
Let's now look at the cost. Prices have dramatically dropped since it first came onto the market, although it's still relatively expensive for very much of the population. If the stabilized form of NMN is stored correctly, it has a shelf life of two years. So buying in bulk may be a cheaper option in the long run, especially if a group of you can get together and form some kind of buying cooperative. When buying bug, again, it's important to choose a supplier that has a history in the supplement space and avoid deals that appear to be too good to be true on sites like Alibaba, AliExpress, eBay, Amazon and the like. Now, as with most things that are not fully understood yet, there are going to be skeptics pointing out that some of the clinical studies have returned unfavorable results. But remember what I said at the start, which is that NMN's only job as an NAD precursor is to raise NAD levels. And to date, every scientific study conducted in humans where the aim was to test this has come back showing that NMN does indeed raise NAD levels, as does NR, nicotinamide riboside. Some clinical studies have looked at NMN and its effect on things other than raising NAD levels. Some were successful to one degree or another, and some were unsuccessful. Those that were successful can just be seen as a win-win. And those that were unsuccessful don't really change the fact that NMN as an NAD precursor is only supposed to raise NAD levels, which we know it does. Another thing to consider is that the majority, the vast majority of these clinical trials in humans consisted of people who were younger and also fitter. And the trials were in the main very short. One of them, in fact, was only 14 days in duration. And although anecdotal, there is evidence that people who are less active and those who are older do see and feel physical benefits from taking NMN as a daily supplement. I am indeed one of those anecdotal cases. In my mind, there is no question that I feel and possibly look much healthier, more energized and more motivated than I did when I started my longevity experiment five years ago. And there are a number of other YouTube channels similar to this, that although they may not go into as much detail with their record keeping as I do, still see and feel very positive results. And let's not forget about you, the longevity community, who regularly comment on my channel's videos and leave comments in the sections of other longevity related channels too. They explain how they too have seen and felt remarkable benefits since they've started to take NMN as a daily supplement. Now, if you're considering taking NMN, there are a few things that if I was starting now, I would probably do differently. First, make sure that your diet and exercise regimen are dialed in and that they are set. If you haven't got one, really consider buying a fitness tracker so you can monitor your step count, sleep scores, resting heart rate, etc. Also, think about any major life changes that you've got planned. These could be things such as going vegan or carnivore, joining a gym, giving up smoking, etc. Try not to start these at the same time you start your longevity journey. And finally, set some baseline metrics so you can measure your progress against them. And it's important that you record them. I'm glad I started to keep a record from day one because five years on, I can't remember what I said or I did maybe in the second year. Things to consider for your baseline tests are your sleep scores, your resting heart rate, and possibly some physical assessments. Here we're talking about assessments such as the sitting rising test, also called SRT. Then there's a six minute walk test and even the single leg balance test. These are all free and you can research how to do them very easily on YouTube. You could also consider the grip test. This is a well-established proxy for longevity and also any other objective tests that you think may be relevant and easy to conduct and also how to record. Now, the last NMN specific video I uploaded for some reason, YouTube decided to disable the comments. I have re-enabled them numerous times, but they still remain disabled. So if you have any questions about nicotinamide mononucleotide, please ask the question in the comment section of any other of my videos. But please just preface it by saying this is an NMN question that you couldn't ask. That is if the comments of this video are indeed again disabled by YouTube. And remember, no matter what you're trying to do, improve your health, your health span, or your longevity, there are always going to be naysayers who want to dump on your parade. Even though there are now numerous studies in humans to show that NMN is safe and effective at raising NAD and a few other things too. They will still bang on about the initial mouse trials that were conducted many years ago, saying things like, it's okay, but only if you're a mouse, you're not a mouse, 
are you? But when it comes to longevity, remember what Dr. Andrew Huberman said. Just to take a step back, I know a lot of people out there are like, if there isn't a double blind placebo controlled trial, you know, random, random trial, then why would you ever take something? And then there are a lot of people like David or me or a lot of people out there who think, well, if there are some mouse data or something safe, why wouldn't I try? Right? Because when it comes to longevity, nobody wants to be in the control group. And if you would like to learn more about NMN, look at my supplement stack in the description below where there's a link to far more detailed videos. And if you're looking for a reputable supplier to buy NMN from, check out the big three, Renew by Science, Do Not Age, and Pro Health Longevity. And if you do buy from one of these companies, please feel free to use the code MYNMN at checkout to get between 10 and 15% off.